All right, so I figured out the problem, and the problem was I had changed the open computer setting. You have to disable buffered hard drives, and uh, I did that, but I forgot to restart my game, and that was why it did not work out. Now, if we go back to my terminal and open up Veeam, of course. Uh, let's be forwarding that. Delete this. Okay. So opening up Veeam. I can add my home directory of file called, let's just call it file. And adding stuff in it. Saving it. We can now see this file in Minecraft in our robots. So there's our file and it has stuff on it. Now if we edit our file and add more stuff when we switch back to our editor and roll out the file you see that the changes are made here. So these are in sync basically and that's really good because who doesn't like his editor and his robot to be in sync? Uh, file, okay. I'm gonna stay in my in my Win environment just for now. Okay, let's switch back to Minecraft. Oh, it's night time. I'm gonna take a nap real quick, and then we can continue playing. All right. So, my first challenge is going to get this robot out of here, there. And to do that, I'm going to write a program. Well, let's switch to Veeam for this matter. I'm going to make a directory inside home called source. And in home source, I'm going to add a file called out.lua. And basically, a file named home.lua. So, uh, I want my robot to go down two blocks. So this would be robots that swing down and robots that down and and then exactly opposite in this file for i equals one to two do so this four block means that my code is going to be run twice. And that as well. Okay. Now, in order to run both of these programs, I'm gonna create another file and name it uh, home source. Let's call it test one. That Lua. So the basic idea is we're gonna require source out and then we're gonna require source home that should be easy right let's see what is the results so do source test ooh robot is a nil value we have to import robot of course which is easy um I'll just add local robot is require robot. Save this file, copy it, and paste it here as well. Okay, let's switch back to Minecraft. Run it once again. It is calling the out function and now it's back. Alright, so 
uh, you can see that it places the item it takes out in its inventory. Let's put them back for now. So I don't care about the dirt underneath this, but I don't want my floor to be wrecked. So upon coming back, you have to place the dirt. To add that, let's go to my editor and add a line robots that place down. Perfect. Let's run it. See what happens. Ooh, there's a problem. Why can it not run? Uh, what's wrong? Can you see the... Ooh, I, I know what this is. So, Lua caches the environment it has running. So, we have to clear the cache because it's not going to reload our libraries. Uh, basically the out.lua and home.lua to do that we have to do uh, I think package that um, loaded and then source out equals nil and then the same for the same for home I guess let's see what the, what it does now running it again forces Lua to forget that it has loaded our libraries and it will try to run them again which works perfectly in our case all right but we're not really out of the house we're just going two blocks down and then two blocks up let's go out of the house for real this time so we can get rid of these and let's actually do this oh instead and copy my window and paste it here. Oh that didn't work. Well Window selected, window paste. Oh, okay, it worked this time. All right. So these codes are supposed to be exactly identical. In that, uh, I mean, anything we do here, we have to undo over there. So let's turn around, turn around, and then move two blocks, or maybe three. Oh, two is fine. Robots that swing, and then robots that forward, like that. And copying this over here and here. So uh, we don't need to swing this time because the path is clear. And let's see what happens. So switching back to Minecraft. It's going down, turns around, breaks two blocks, comes back up and places down. Perfect. Good boy. Now let's, uh, I guess, come up a block or two as well. Um, so yeah, let's copy this. But we'll put that up. Copy it here and paste it. Or what's that down? All right. Now let's see what happens this time. Go by, go by. Perfect. Okay. 
So this is going to be the end of our first episode. In the next episode, we're going to try and cut down some trees and start building, you know, the usual Minecraft stuff. So I hope you like this video and I encourage you to try this challenge even if you don't have any idea what is open computers at all. Have fun and stay positive.